Hello everyone, it's Bernina Jeff at High Fashion Sewing Machines and Quilt Shop. I am not an employee of Bernina of America, but I have a dealership here in Western Colorado and I like to make videos to show you how to keep on sewing and maybe do some little repairs and stuff on your own. I also like to show you new products and stuff that I've found and learned from my people that come to class that are really, uh, you know, good ideas that you may not have thought of. So here we go. Today I'm going to show you how to sew through really thick strapping or if you're going through really heavy denim you can use this technique. I'm also going to show you some tips on how to do a side table out of a uh, old TV tray and some uh, new stick-on tips, some new products that uh, stick on the front of your machine to hold things. So stay tuned for the whole video. You're going to want to see all the different tips and tricks I got today. So first off I'm going to show you how to sew super heavy duty strapping. This strapping is about 3 sixteenths of an inch thick and it's really dense. I found this on the side of the road. My middle name is Frugal, Frugal Vogel. <laughs> so I picked it up, trimmed off the rattle, frazzled side and then flipped it over and sewed it together. So now I have a shackle or something I can tow with. I actually towed my daughter's car with this. So I'm going to show you how to sew through this. Sewing machines Modern sewing machines have what they call a triple straight stitch. Berninas are nice because they have DC powered motors and they'll go through a lot of heavy duty uh, product. Um, on the Berninas it's a number six, so let's do, zoom in here, it's a number six stitch. It just looks like a heavy duty, sometimes there's three little stitches in a row. So we're going to do, we're going to select a triple straight stitch. Now if you didn't know what those stitches mean, you can touch the um, oh, question mark first and then touch an icon and it'll tell you triple straight stitch for reinforced seams on heavy fabrics and decorative effects. So that's what we're going to use. You can use it as a straight application or you can make it into a zigzag. It doesn't matter. It'll do three stitches in the same hole. So I never use a heavy duty nylon thread. I just use a polyester thread with this stitch and to reinforce heavy fabric I will use a size 16 needle. Now, part of the new products is a brand new needle from Schmetz, and it is a gold, and it's titanium coated, and it's a jeans gold. It's, it's a size 16 or 100. I don't recommend anything bigger than a 100 on a domestic machine because the machine spends so much of its power pushing that big diameter needle through. A 16 is all you need, and then regular thread and a triple stitch. Baby locks, Janomis, all the all the machines have some sort of a triple stitch, so this isn't only for Berninas. So brand new, this is on my Shopify, uh, they're not expensive, $7 for a pack of five. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to put this in. I have, I don't know what needle is in here, so I'm going to take it out. I have this handy dandy needle grabber. I'm going to poke it in there, I'm going to hold the needle grabber on the needle, and the uh, machines come with a little gray needle screwdriver. I like these screw key doos. They're, they give you a little more room to get your hands on it. The only thing is, is you don't want to hand tight that so white knuckle you could break the screw. So I just turn it about a half a turn. Now, here's another new product. I just saw this at uh, Bernina University, Bernina Convention, and it's called My Pad. Come on over to My Pad. So what this does is it has a list of all the different types of sewing machine needles. So when you take a needle out, uh, this was a Universal 8012. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to find my Universal over here, 8012. I'm going to slide that into that slot. Now that needle, it doesn't have eight hours of use. Needles can go from eight hours up to 16 hours if they're titanium coated. So now I can use that needle. I know exactly what it is for my next use. Now I am taking my new gold size 16 jeans needle, put it into my little needle grabber, put the flat side to the back, tuck it in the hole, and up we go. See how quick that was? And I'm using my little screw key do, tighten it, push on the end. It's like a fishing bobber. You push it in and a little hook comes out. Love them. Sold hundreds. All right, now this is the new 790 Pro. It has auto needle threading. Only the 8 Series used to have this. So you take your, your thread out here, bring it into this little presenter, cut it off, and you hit needle thread button. 
and it's going to go and thread the needle all by itself. Very reliable now. It doesn't get stuck all the time. So now we're ready to sew this heavy, heavy stuff. And I'm going to do a bright orange so you can kind of see. And I'm going to do it zigzag because it shows better. And this side has some bumps on it. You kind of have to help. This is the side that uh, I'm just going to sew across. So I don't want to damage there with that hook. So with the uh, 7 Series, it just drops it. Now it's reinforcing. And it's going through all those layers and putting three strands of thread in every hole. I'm going to bring the needle down and foot up so I can pro rotate, pivot, and, and I can just start sewing again. This is just a really, really strong way to reinforce anything. Again, this will pull a car. And it even did the thread cut through all those heavy layers. So the orange is what we did. There's three strands in there. Don't, I don't ever recommend size 69 nylon on a domestic machine or anything heavy duty. It just ends up causing a, a lot of problems. You end up bringing it in here and you end up making me to fix it for you. So that is how to sew something really heavy duty. Now, if I have a whole pack of needles and I'm going to make, maybe use a lot of them, Here's a brand new stick-on product. It's a little, I call it a needle box holder. It'll hold Bernina needles. It'll hold Schmetz needles. It'll hold any brand of needle boxes. So that way, if you're going through needles, you don't always have to have your needle pad handy. You can just keep replacing new needles. So if you al always use Microtech size 10, you can just keep a pack of them right there and just go right through them. So that's one of the new products. Now, this little screwdriver, or the gray screwdriver, fits right into the screwdriver holder right there. This pink one doesn't fit as good. I'm going to have my 3D guide printer make a little bit bigger one. The other thing I wanted to show you, and this is something I saw from my gals in class, is they're in class or at a retreat, and they don't want to get up to the ironing board. Go walk to the ironing board, iron a seam. So this little steam fast iron actually put regular tap water in there, heat it up, and it heats up really nice and hot, and you can open up your seams when you're quilting and not even leave your sewing machine. Not good on getting your step count in, but uh, sometimes you just want to get productive. So that's a steam fast. I'll be selling these on my Shopify. You can go on Amazon or eBay or your local quilt shop to buy these. This is the brand I really prefer. It steams well. Um, they had a recall on these recently for five-year-old ones, but uh, these these are really high quality now for what they are now the other thing is, is go to your local thrift store go into your garage find a little TV tray and what we did here is we put two layers of batting cotton batting and some canvas and we just stapled canvas underneath there and this folds up puts away when you're not sewing you can put your rotary cutting board on there, your rotary cut while you're right at the sewing machine. If you have a metal one you cannot staple into, get yourself a board and staple canvas or you can buy an ironing board cover and cut it up and put it over the top. This ironing board fabric is really hard to find anymore. This Teflon coated stuff, whatever they call it, silver. So uh, a canvas, you can even use two layers of a quilting cotton or a fabric. God forbid we uh, use some of our stash on anything. So pieces of batting and a cover and you got yourself a portable ironing board and a mini iron and I highly make it very very productive as far as getting things done in your sewing room. So I'm into gold right now. I told you about the gold and or gold jeans needles. I've been promoting the gold embroidery needles. They come in 9014 for fussy threads and they also come in uh, 7511 for a normal embroidery. So there's the three sets of gold. They, it's called titanium nitride and I highly recommend it. That gold, oh I forgot to tell you, on this gold it actually puts a coating on the needle to help it slide through any of the really difficult fabrics. So when you're going through heavy fabrics this gold coating helps you. So that Remember the my pad for putting your sewing machine needles in there. So, you know, I might go to quilting and 
six months ago, I didn't know where my quilting needle is. So there it is, 9014 quilting needle. And if you take one out, they give you this little flower pin to put your note where it came from. So they thought of everything. This is by the Gravit Company. They do those magnetic pin cushions, things like that. So I saw that at market, and I thought it would be a wonderful thing to show you all. So thanks. That's Bernina Jeff. Uh, go to my Shopify account, bernina-jeff.myshopify.com. Uh, check out my website. I have links to everything at hifashiongj.com. That's hifashion, like high fashion, gj, like Grand Junction, Com. Or you can email me. I answer every email myself. That's jpvlefty at aol.com. You can call the shop. I have staff. Sometimes I even answer. I get this little, it's Jeff on the phone. And that's 970-256-1293. Thank you very much.